full-on interpretation of Xiao Zhan's new movie. King Ge -ge. King Ge -ge. Jing, I am your eagle. I've been laughing uncontrollably at this netizen's comment for the past two days. Hey, folks, have you heard the news? Xiao Zhan's latest movie, Legend of the Condor Heroes, The Great Hero, has just been officially announced. The renowned director Sui Hark is at the helm. Adapting Jin Yong's celebrated novel. This movie is a special tribute to Jin Yong on his 100th birth anniversary. It's set to hit the screens in the first half of this year, with a staggering budget of $400 million. Since the announcement, it has taken over the top search rankings, generating immense buzz even before the cameras start rolling. Interestingly, some netizens have jokingly wondered why it's still not released hours after the official announcement. Xiao Zhan, the actor with the largest fan base in China, has finally made his foray into top-tier movie projects after three years. Unfortunately, this newfound success has drawn the ire of some anti-fans. They claim this show is just another remake, while others argue that Xiao Zhan's striking looks and vibrant energy might not fit the character of Guijing. To make matters worse, a certain movie and television rating platform has been inundated with negative reviews from a swarm of anti-fans, deliberately lowering the scores of Xiao Zhan's previous works. I can understand the first two criticisms to some extent since not everyone is optimistic about Xiao Zhan and this movie, but what could possibly be the motivation behind deliberately giving low ratings or orchestrating such schemes? Are these individuals unable to witness others' success and resort to such underhanded tactics to vent their frustration? Or is it genuinely a shady conspiracy to suppress him and force the director to replace Xiao Zhan or withdraw funding from movie company? Instead of such manipulative actions, why would they not invest that energy and money into improving the professional skills of their actors, creating outstanding works that genuinely resonate with and attract fans who appreciate and cherish them? All right, enough digression. Let's get back to the main topic. My mind has been consumed by thoughts of Ji Chong and the enchanting Legend of the Condor Heroes background music these days. I'd like to take this opportunity to share my insights on the official poster, discuss my interpretation of this drama, and evaluate Xiao Zhan's suitability for this role. First and foremost, let's see the center position, two eagles. Since the fans have staked their claim, then let it be so. Moving on, let's talk about the incredible duo of the original author Jin Yong and director Sui Hark. Jin Yong, a wuxia master and one of the most revered novelists in the Chinese realm of the past century, has crafted a splendid world of martial arts for us. And, The Legend of the Condor Heroes stands as Mr. Jin Yong's magnum opus. Then we have Sui Hark, a renowned director from Hong Kong who has garnered numerous accolades both domestically and internationally, big and small. The funny thing is, I stumbled upon some comments on certain videos where people claim that Sui Hark's forte lies solely in capturing the beauty of actresses. And hence, his movies aren't a good fit for male actors like Xiao Shan. It's quite amusing to think about it because it seems they have selectively forgotten how Jet Li rose to worldwide fame. Why Leslie Chung is affectionately referred to as Gyur Gyur. Or the origin of Chen Kun's nickname. It's all because they starred in Sui Hark's movies and became more and more famous. I can't help but wonder what new height Sui Hark will take Xiao Zhan to with his portrayal of Guijing. In fact, the crux of this movie lies right here. Let's shed some light on the leading production, China Film Company Limited. Perhaps you didn't notice, but it's a state-owned enterprise. Not only is it the largest film company in China in terms of output, but it also holds the exclusive rights to import foreign movies and distribute them within the country. Even national television stations like CCTV6 are under its umbrella. Now, you may grasp why fans are bursting with excitement. While Xiao Zhan is undeniably the most renowned actor in China, he hasn't made any movies since his rise to fame in 2019. Meanwhile, almost all the other actors who gained popularity around the same time as him have already starred in and released multiple movies. Consequently, anti-fans have been spreading rumors that he lacks movie resources due to being blocked by Chinese state media. As you can see, the producer of this movie happens to be the most significant official Chinese film company. Naturally, these rumors crumble, which explains the overwhelming joy among Chinese fans. Alright, let's move next. A great chivalrous man serves the country and the people. 
Unlike other TV drama versions, just by the name, you can tell this show is all about wuxia and justice. It's said to be an entirely fresh plot, never before filmed. Gui Jing's defended Xiangyang four times in his lifetime, and this movie will be the first to showcase one of those defense episodes that was never covered in the original book or previous adaptations. It's a whole new story. In this movie, you'll witness Gui Jing at the pinnacle of his strength and military prowess, fighting for his family and nation. Starting from 1983, there have been six TV drama versions of Legend of the Condor Heroes, and all of them heavily focused on the love story between Huang Rong and Gui Jing. They tended to highlight Huang Rong's influence on Gui Jing, painting him as somewhat simple-minded and downplaying his genius and knightly qualities. But let me tell you, in Jin Yang's original, Gui Jing is anything but dumb. He is tolerant when it comes to love. However, when it concerns national loyalty and integrity, he's unwavering, wise, and astute, a true hero of honor. In the novel, Gui Jing is young yet becomes one of the world's five most formidable martial artists. He's a military genius who defends the ancient city of Xiangyang for decades, thwarting the Mongolian army multiple times over. He commands heroes, leads the martial arts alliance, and earns the heartfelt support of fighters from all corners of the world. And don't overlook Gui Jing's emotional intelligence, it's far from lacking. He's just refreshingly straightforward, not one to play sly tricks. When it comes to interacting with others, Gui Jing is incredibly polite and humble. He never skimps on expressing sincere thanks, offering compliments, and recognizing others' strengths. He excels at seeing things from others' perspectives and understanding them. Remember, this is the flawless Gui Jing envisioned by Jin Yong himself. What's amusing, is that many folks actually claim Xiao Zhan is too lively to portray a silly Gui Jing. All I can say, is those netizens either haven't read the original novel or haven't seen other characters Xiao Zhan has portrayed. If Sui Hark and Xiao Zhan were to deliver a goofy Gui Jing this time around, then this movie would truly be done for. Now, let's continue to peek at the poster, and what do we see? It's Gui Jing riding on a horse, no doubt about it. Xiao Zhan is the leading man, the hero who aims for the eagle in Legend of the Condor Heroes. Some netizens have raised doubts about whether Xiao Zhan is too good-looking to portray Gui Jing. Well, let's dive into what Gui Jing looks like in the original book. Gui Jing, my friend, is a character who evolves and grows. Sure, he may not be as drop-dead handsome as Yang Kang, but he's definitely not your average Joe either. He should be tall, strong, and even more attractive as he ages. According to the original novel, teenage Gui Jing is described as follows, he's tall, with a solid build, thick eyebrows, and big eyes. So sure he has an ordinary appearance during that time. And when Gui Jing hits his 30s, Jin Yong describes him as majestic, dashing, and full of heroism when he stands atop Xiangyang City in a divine condor, errant knight. Now, my friends, if these adjectives don't mean handsome, then I don't know what does. In short, I say all this not to prove that Sui Hark and Xiao Zhan's new movie will definitely be successful. The success of a movie is multifaceted. Director, actor, screenwriter, art, martial arts, and distribution are all indispensable. But I think it's wrong that some anti-fans question actors and directors based on the inherent thinking of the public. Anyway, here's hoping this movie will have a global release next year because there is a massive fan base of Xiao Zhan overseas too.